Hello, my name is Burak Özcan. I'm recording this video to explain what were the challenges that I faced and my solution to these challenges. First challenge is adding a coach, which is one of the requirements. For generating coach, there is no challenge. But for adding coaches, user give the values. So in order to do this, let's say we have a coach. And this coach has some values here. I already created three classes, which are coach, team, player, and I already created three lists. So to add this coach, we need to give some values, age, name, last name, team, and statue. But for these three values, it's not really important because user can give which age because program will not give an error for these three. However, for team and for the study of the coach, it's ma it matters because we're going to update the team list as well. So this coach, to be a coach, needs to work in a team. We created three different teams, so this coach needs to work either one of those. And when we take the team value, we're gonna make a full loop for loop. And then if the team name is equal one of the teams in the list, we're gonna update the team as well. In the team class we have some values here as well so we're gonna add for example coach to a team but problem here we are relying on the users so it might be a problem because users might type random or users might <coughs> users might give different teams which is not existed so we need to prevent this to update team and to create a coach. As I said, generating is not important because we are not relying on users here. We're gonna do everything by ourselves. <coughs> Sorry. So for this challenge, my solution is defining a menu to force user to choose either one of the teams that I predefined. Benefit, it, benefit is for this solution, it prevents errors, program runs smoothly, but the disadvantage is program is not flexible. For example, when I add a user, I cannot choose the, you know, I cannot create a team, or when I add a coach, I cannot add different type of coach, but which is not required, so, for this solution, it works fine. For second challenge, while adding coach, preventing conflicts, which is another requirement. Here, if we think every team needs to have one head coach, and if we were to add one more head coach, either we need to change the coach or we need to prompt an error that already a coach has been assigned, but that's not required. And also it will be challenging for teachers as well to test program. Instead of this, program is not changing. The previous coaches, which is predefined, also adds one more coach. So for example, this is Galatasaray's, team of Galatasaray's head coach, who is Burak Özcan, which is my name. Age is not correct, but anyway. So if you want to add a new coach, we are not changing this we are adding one more and here as we can see james garza galatasaray head coach and we can add some vice galatasaray head coach in the future with a piece of code the solution might be changed to setting coach that's the benefit of this solution it's temporary but it's easy to check and changeable thank you very much